if you guys are new on my channel you know that i have two youtube channel one is my photography channel and the other one is my vlogging channel i'll usually put them all in this little sling bag with all the gears that i have and it has served me really well for the past year as we're approaching 2021 i'll be showing you guys what i brought for 2020 and hopefully it won't change because the gears that i have here are so functional and helps me in so many different circumstances so without further ado let's see what i usually bring with me As you can see here, it's already packed up to the brim. So let's start with the first item, which is my RX100. Now this RX100 is the version 5 and it has a very nice bokeh of 1.8. I've used this various times to be able to help me to do vlogging as it has a flip screen over here. That helps me to be able to compose my shots comparing with my A7 II which I'll mention later on. Most of my shots on this channel that I've used for the top down is shot using this RS100 camera. It also has a 1 inch sensor and calzaz coating which makes it really sharp and gives you very high quality content if you are doing it for content creation. Along with this RX100, I have this CK MOVA 2-in-1 um, selfie pod. Now I'm able to be able to vlog along with this or be able to just set it up to get for you all the stagnant shots or the static shots uh, for B-rolls. This is extremely light as it's made of a very high quality plastic compared with other gears which makes my overall setting really light. So putting these two out of the way, here I have my A7 II. Now this is A7 II along with this 16-35mm uh, to mm wide angle lens which is also Kalsias. From this you can tell that I really love having, having the Kalsias quality as it gives me very sharp focus and also very nice on the edges. So this is a little bit hefty and heavy but it's important to be able to help me get the landscape shots due to the 16mm focal range. And if I want to go for a portrait range, it can zoom in all the way to 35mm which gives me a nicer and a tighter shot. Moving along, here I have my Boya Lavalier mic which I put inside to this box here. This Boya Lavalier mic is only cost about $10 and it's very really reliable. What I usually do is I plug this into my mobile phone to, and put it in my pocket as I record all the footages with my vlog camera over here. The limitation of having this Mark 5 is that it has no have any audio input which I'll definitely rely on external source which is coming from my Boya Lavalier mic. Now the next one in my bag is having this Samsung tablet over here. Now this is a Samsung S 5e tablet and I have this very cheap Bluetooth keyboard over here which is has all these very nice colors that along with it. I usually do work on the go and this is very important workflow if I were to out and about and be able to need to send something to my clients or have a very good idea for my YouTube channel. Yeah, I have a smaller items. It's just basically just my uh, headset and these three MPF BX1 batteries for my RX100 camera. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention in my main video, I also usually bring along in the side pockets this little Tau power bank. Now it might just look like a normal keychain to you but basically this little power bank can give you a 25% boost for your mobile phones or your devices. It has an Android charging cable over here and an Apple charging port over here. So this is really important and definitely help save me on various emergency circumstances when my items run out of batteries. And I usually just put this at the side as it's hardly noticeable. Let's get back to our main video. So all in all, these are the few items which I have that I always bring around. They're all very reliable and really light and keeps my bag really good comparing with just bringing my Peak Design bag which is over here which tends to be really heavy once I get more gears in. I'll encourage you guys to go light. If you are intending to bring a small bag, you will likely not cram everything inside due to the size of it. Having a bigger bag would only encourage you to bring more gears which is not good for your bag and will be able to hinder yourself in terms of content creation. I'm really happy with this Siri bag and I'll link down in the description below. If not, I'll also recommend the Peak Design 5 liter sling which is also good enough and big enough definitely to put all these items that I mentioned over here. So I hope you guys like this quick video of showing what I usually bring on my vlogging setup. If you like this kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And if you want more gear reviews, check out the playlist over here. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.